You're right, of course. Your friendships don't concern me in the least. Our relations have always been strictly commercial, and that's the way I like it. The professional and the personal should be mutually exclusive. Listen, I came here to do some business, not shoot the breeze. If you want to expound your personal philosophies, write another book. You don't like me, do you? I don't have to like you. You're a client, and you pay well. You're privileged, Mr. Corso. Very few people ever set foot in here. This is my private collection. Some bibliophiles specialize in Gothic novels, others in books of ours. All my own rare editions have the same protagonist, the devil. May I take a look? Yes, that's why I brought you here. aren't they? A soft sheen, a superb gilding, not to mention the centuries of wisdom they contain. I know people who would kill for a collection like this. The Ars Diaboli. You'll never see as many books on the subject anywhere else in the world. They're the rarest, the choicest editions in existence. It's taken me a lifetime to assemble them. Only the supreme masterpiece was missing. Come. The Nine Gates is a kingdom of shadows. You're familiar with it? Yes. Venice, 1666. The author and printer Aristide Torquay was burned by the Holy Inquisition, together with all his works. Only three copies survived. One. The catalog lists three copies surviving in private ownership. Fargus, the Kessler, and the Delper. It's true. You know your business, but you're mistaken nonetheless. According to my own research, only one is authentic. Well, three are known. That's the trouble. Where'd you get it? I bought it from Telfer. Telfer? Yes, he finally sold it to me the day before he killed himself. <laughs> it's good timing. Silence is golden. Precisely. Ever heard of the Della Melanica? I've heard of it, yes. It's a myth, isn't it? A book reputed to have been written by Satan himself. No myth. That book existed. Torquia actually acquired it. The engravings you're now admiring were adapted by Torquia from the Della Melanica. They form a kind of satanic riddle, correctly interpreted with the aid of the original text and sufficient inside information. They're reputed to conjure up the Prince of Darkness in person. You don't say. Are you a religious man, Mr. Corso? I mean, do you believe in the supernatural? I believe in my percentage. 